How do you guys? Um, so this morning um, brings me to a, a rather chillier start to the day. Um, I think this is probably my official first uh, need to stick a, a, a fleece or a jumper on kind of morning. Um, although it's just knocking on for, uh, what, coming for 10.30 now. So <clears throat> I'd got plans to go over to uh, Sandwell Valley to try a couple of lakes over there. But unfortunately, the uh, the matriarch of our family, that is Nan, uh, has been rushed into hospital again. So uh, I think pretty much all of us are either at the hospital or staying local. Um, but uh, things are looking good there, so that's all good. But uh, so what I have decided is I've come over to Himley Hall. Um, I'm kind of naming the venue as people say, uh, which we shouldn't really do. But <laughs> anybody who lives anywhere near this place uh, will know exactly where I am as soon as I've got the GoPro on. So. Um, and if I am lucky enough to catch uh, a pike or two, obviously people are going to work it out and say the names in the uh, in their questions or whatever, so comment section. Um, so plan today, um, I've never actually pike fished here, so I don't know what to expect. However, walking down to the, the poolside uh, in the bay nearest to where the firework display is, it's a sat shallowest uh, section of the lake really, and there's two jack pike of about three pounds just cruising around together, so... <laughs> That could be a good start. Catching them is probably something different, but uh, yeah, the plan of action today, uh, really simple, one rod. I think I've got about six lures. Um, so of course I have brought um, the, the jig flies. Um, so I've got that on already. This is one of Ryan's jig flies, slightly bigger. Um, something different, which came in the post of the day. Yeah, I have got a Savage Gear spinner blade. But I haven't got the 42 gram version. The one I've got, I think, is 12 gram, much, much smaller. So I'll give that a whirl today. Um, and then I have brought it right the way down, so size wise, that is. So I've got David Warren F4P uh, jig fly. Um, <laughs> another one of David's. Um, I've got one of um, uh, MS Custom jig flies in my bag as well. Savage Gear 19 centimeter, Fox Pro Grub, um, and then two Savage Gear 13 centimeter lip lures, one in perch pattern, one in pike pattern. Um, these are the lures that over the years have kind of not guaranteed to catch a fish, but you've got more. Oh, I've had more chance anyway on those. So I've brought the ones I think I'm most likely to catch with. Um, and yeah, um, see if we can winkle one out or two. But uh, like I said, I'm going to have to start in this bay because seeing those two straight away has given me confidence. Um, but I'm surprised they're in the shallowest water, being colder weather. But uh, just to show you, I mean, looks like everyone's going to know where I am. So absolutely beautiful waters. And then behind me, which is a lovely setting as well, you've got Himley Hall itself. So um, yeah, luff waffling. Let's get fishing in a bit. Okay, before I do anything with this fish, um, I'll leave it in the water and unknot it, or untangle it, should I say. Oh, I think, actually, I think he's sorted himself. Uh, what have we got going on here, though? Well, oh, that's sorted that out. Come on. The only issue is it's got double hooks, so I've got to be careful. I don't want that trailing up the end of my hand. Come on, mate. Well, this is my first Himley Hall pike. Proper chuffed. Oh, he's got the hooks here, there and everywhere. There we go. Oh. Right, first, first pike for me on Himley Hall, and I've got to be fair, 
it was fished for because there's uh, three other jack pike in the area. This being the bigger one of the three. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Um, absolutely pleased to death with that one. First, first fish in this place. Um, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, change of lure three times over. There's not a blemish on this fish. Um, long, thin, really healthy, but proper made up. <laughs> Let's get him back and see if we can get another one. Really lovely condition pike. <sighs> get him back over here. <laughs> There's a little jackpot just shot off as well. Yes, yeah, so to be fair, this one doesn't need recovering. Uh, it's already good to go, so. Try and get all the scuzz out of the way. <laughs> no. Stop nosediving your sausage. There you go. Awesome. Fantastic. <clears throat> See if that micro pike's after anything else yet. Could be this fly's just a bit too big for him. He's followed it in. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He's still there. Here he is, look. Go on, sword, go on. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, has he come off? Oh, bugger. Got one. Oh, I did have one. <laughs> uh, quick change of, uh, of the venue. Um, unfortunately, GoPro's died, but literally first cast. And uh, this voiced little jack now the jig fly again. So uh, we've got about ten minutes left to fish time. So we'll get this one back and see if, see if we can get another one out. Right, uh, this one side swiped the, uh, the lure, uh, jig fly again. Um, <laughs> hadn't actually got it in his mouth, so it's foul looked, but I'll take it nonetheless. Um, oh. So, with a really nice long, I guess they're all gonna be long and shallow because the waters are really, the water's shallow. So let's get a quick picture and put it back. Hello guys. Uh, so that's the easy end of today's session. Um, to sum up today, I think, um, really impressed. Um, 
I've stayed local for, as I said at the beginning, um, I've never pike fished that venue before. Um, I have the pools further up, but never the Great Lake. Um, I've never really heard many good things about pike fishing, but that's, I guess, talking to Bailiff today, um, there's not that many pike anglers go over there, to be fair. It's all carp and tench anglers. Um, although I know, I know a few people that have gone over there and have caught pike, but not uh, massive uh, sizes. Or To be fair, if they have, they've kept it to themselves. Um, like I said at the beginning, where I've gone is a day, tic day ticket venue. Um, anybody local is going to know where I am, so I might as well just say the name anyway, so everyone keep asking me. Um, but yeah, the, the GoPro died towards the end of the session, unfortunately. Um, it's my own fault for faffing around trying to take um, footage off the GoPro onto my phone, so alleviate a bit more size on the or memory on the card. I need a 64 gig card, so uh, in 4K it gives me an hour's record time. So, I, but the moral of the story is get a bigger card. Um, <laughs> but yeah, today um, at the main lake, uh, I had one nice fish at the very beginning. And you know, it's one of those things where you think, fantastic, I'm have loads of fish today, and I didn't. <laughs> um, the flip side to that though is, um, I uh, had the one, um, I lost three, um, I saw numerous pike. I mean, the one is laughable, there's two pike of about six pounds, uh, so it's mean two jack pike, and they both were just following the lure around. They weren't uh, hungry enough to, to go for it, and it was, it was peeving me, because uh, they just wouldn't go for it, it was just teasing me. but. Uh, it's really good though, and um, to be fair, I've seen loads of uh, micro pike about that big, sat above the algae. Um, so there's a lot of smaller pike to come through for the years to come. Unfortunately, I didn't get to find any really big pike. Um, there's obviously going to be some in there. Um, it's just having the right lure or the right bait at the right time. So um, I'm going to invest a bit more time, I think, uh, over this winter down Himley Hall. Um, but just to point out, because um, I've been asked, I've been asked loads of times recently what jig flies am I using, what reel am I using, what rod am I using. Um, you know me, I, I don't have the money to splash around, uh, I'm not a tackle tart, I just want something that does the job. So um, I've put the links into some recent videos uh, as to what I've been using, but uh, the reel uh, is going to change. Now this is the reel I've been using, um, it's a Sonic AVX 2000 model and do you know what, this reel um, Drew put me onto these um, and I have battered this reel and the one on me every setup as well. I've had them for a few years and it's come to the stage now where my, I, I have to be fair I have dropped these before now like the line clip uh, has broke off from where I've dropped that on the floor it's got scratches and dents on there um, but when this is pulling through the heavy lures um, it's starting to struggle um, so I think I've more or less killed it. Um, <laughs> but um, this is a six ball bearings. I can't remember the ratio on this one. I don't even think it's got it on the reel. Uh, no, actually it's seven ball bearings. Um, I can't remember the gear ratio, but that has done me proud. And anybody who wants to get a workhorse of a reel for open face reel fishing, uh, yeah, Sonic AVX range, fantastic reels. Um, what, last Christmas I got bought um, for a Christmas gift uh, the Akuma Jaw 40 actually it's uh, ooh, matches the fox but uh, cross brands um, this will be my new open face light reel um, it's got a much fatter um, spool at the top it's long and fatter as a Sonic is uh, short and thin um, sounding a bit wrong um, both uh, front drag um, this one I can't even remember this one is four ball bearings in total um, five to one gear ratio and 17 pound pull so um, no idea I've, I used to have the the Akuma um, trio uh, 65 now that that reel was that reel was awesome um, and that lasted me a long time as well. This isn't going to be to the standard of the trio range I'm sure, um, it's just built it's just built way differently. Um, but that will be my new reel. Um, putting on there is, Power, my, I, I love this stuff, but Power Pro. Um, this is the £40 I think I've gone, yeah £40 Power Pro on this one. The reason being that I'm not really using perch stuff, 
Um, all my stuff I'm using really it is pike gear, so I'm going for the £40 braid uh, on those, on that reel even. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that'll be the change going forward, um, but I'll put the links into that. Uh, other than that, uh, as you say, thanks for watching and catch you in the bank soon. In a bit.